Okay guys, just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to create like a type of waffle uh, slab for your construction. Okay, so I want to get a waffle slab up underneath. This is my design inside this room right here. And uh, right now it's just, as you can see, something flush and flat. My selection color is green, by the way. Uh, just so you know, while I'm selecting, that's what's going on. Um, also, uh, what I want to do is I want to isolate the slab by itself before I get started because my idea to handle this would be through uh, going for a curtain system, all right? Now, a curtain system, it requires a mass in order to do it, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, let me isolate this guy. Down here, you just say isolate element, and then I want to get to the bottom of it, and you can see that the bottom is right here, okay? Then go ahead and turn on your massing. Go ahead and start your in-place mass and give it a name, say OK. And then you want to go ahead and set it to that surface right there. OK, so um, set your plane. And when you do, it can let you do it by level, but I'd rather do it by face. So just simply put your mouse over and click, and it sets it to that draw plane now. OK, so back over here, get back into the pick line here. Pick two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. So that should be all the lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Finish up that. Now I've got all lines. So I can verify it right there. I've got eight mass lines. So um, I want to extrude these lines now. So if I go for a solid form, then it extrudes up. Now the deal is, is I need this surface right here that you can see right now. Um, I don't really need that top side. I need the bottom side is what I really need. Um, the reason why is that I'm going to get it to go through this surface down here, right? Okay, because I plan on working up underneath it. So I can kind of just get it right here and it snaps for me. Okay, so that worked out pretty good. It is carrying the thickness of this floor right now um, because it's going to be up underneath it anyway. So um, now that I've made my mass, I'll finish it off. Okay, now that I've got a mass, then now I can go ahead and make that system I wanted. So it is over here in here. Now the curtain system that came in here by default out of the box, Revit, it's right there. Now there's different ways to make this selection. So you can select multiple or you can clear your selection uh, and then create the system when you're done. So uh, what I want to do is just make sure, notice my cursor has a plus on it. If I click, then it has selected that. Now you can see it says I did that. I'm going to say create system and it goes ahead and gener generates me a, uh, a system. Okay. Now. I don't really need that mass anymore unless I plan on making changes to it after the fact, but right now I'll leave it there. So I'm going to select the system and, and edit this one. I'll go ahead and duplicate the system I've got. And let's just say that all of my spacing is going to be regular. So um, let's go with like maybe three by three, and I mean by feet, okay? So then right now you can see that the grid layout uh, is set up to be a fixed distance. So um, they're set up in like a, um, a borders type system and I'll show you here in a second so let's see I need to set that to three and I need to set that to three okay so this is like your horizontal and your vertical now it's not angled yet that'll be something over here will change in a bit now I gotta pick out my mullions because I don't have any um, so uh, currently I don't have any so look on interior this is like kind of what happens inside okay and then the borders are around the edges all right so I'm just gonna pick out which ones I want here and the biggest thing I've got right now is a rectangular two and a half by five out of the box. So I'm just going to go ahead and get those guys right now. Two and a half by five. And I'm not going to put the, actually, I'm doing this the way I don't want to. I don't want the outside borders, actually. I want just interiors. So sorry about that, guys. Go for interiors only. All right. Two and a half by five. Okay, good. So I've got my sizes. Now, one more thing I need to do too is that I want air gaps here. I don't want glass here. Okay, so then the curtain panels I want in here, I'm going to say that they're going to be empty system panels and joint condition, I don't really care. All right, we'll say okay. And you're going to notice that it's going to go ahead and pull out all the glass and it's going to join mullions in here for me. Okay, so I've already kind of got this, this uh, sort of happening. Now, the deal is, is these things are all connected to grid lines. So if you tab, and tab, you can click, and there's your grid line. That's that, that that's that dash line I got a hold of, right? And so those things can actually be changed in what angle they're at. So if I go like this, and I just kind of type in like maybe uh, 15 degrees, 
and notice that it just doesn't want to do it, right? So if you select the system itself, notice it's the dash outline, then just simply go with the angle right here, and you can see that it's going to make a change right there to grid one. All right, so I'm deleting off the excess, and you can see that it kind of made a twist. So then uh, maybe I need something a little more aggressive. So 30 degrees. Okay, we'll say okay. And there you go. Now it's kind of getting that more diamond shape for you. Okay. Now it's only going to allow us two grids though. We don't get choices for multiple grids. So uh, the more you do, you know, this kind of deal, the more um, extreme it will be. And so it's just deleting off the panels and the excess uh, mullions that it doesn't need. So that, that looks pretty good right there. Now they're just not big enough to even be considered concrete right now. So if I select one of them and I unpin it, I can go ahead and edit it and create my own type. All right. So we'll just say uh, conch and we'll just do kind of like a, maybe they're, I don't know, eight inches thick and then they're uh, maybe one foot thick. Okay, eight by 12. So right here, the thickness is how wide the, uh, or how deep this piece is. So if we're looking at these two dimensions, this piece across here is the one quarter, one and a quarter. And then the depth of it is that five. So in my case, I wanna do one foot. And then I have to divide it by four inches because it's kind of splitting that thing in the middle. All right, so four inches, all right. And I'll say, okay and it's going to change it immediately. Now I'm going to pin that back into place. I have the type now created in my family that I can use. All right, so it's a, a curtain wall mullion is what it is. All right, so it was a rectangular mullion right here, and there's my concrete mullion, as you can see. Now, if I select the system itself as a whole, I can get back in here, and I can change out those mullions for my concrete one. All right, so let's see. Uh, okay, conch right there. All right, cool. So there's my conch. We'll say okay. And the whole system will update at one time. Now, I don't know. That's trying to delete the excess stuff, okay? So just say okay to it. And there you go. Now, it may not be at the elevation you want. Maybe you're looking for it to be deeper. And of course, I know it doesn't look like concrete. So just tab to one of them, edit the type, come to the um, material, hit that little dot here, and just type in the conch. And then uh, I believe it's this cast in place gray is the one that's using for the floor. I'll say okay. And so now it's matching and it looks pretty much the same, but I need to roll, uh, pull it down a little bit so it's more flush. Um, so there's an offset amount here, but these are offset off grids. They're not actually vertical offsets. So what you want to do here uh, is if you notice, watch if I type in one right here, what it's going to do is shift everything. And as you can see, they're not offsetting their height at all. It's just simply move them in a direction, right? So that's not actually what we want to do. So um, a section would be the best way to do this. Just say okay to these messages that pop up because Revit always draws these things over and over and over again. So you cut yourself a section by coming here or there. And uh, all I'm looking for is trying to see what my um, height is. And so I can pull it down, okay? So I just shortened up the depth a little bit, double click to go into there. And as you can see, I can see my system right here. And I know that it is eight inch or one foot deep. So I'm gonna come down uh, six inches because it's halfway in there. All right, so let's see, there you go. Now it's all nice and flush. And maybe they wanna be deeper, you know, maybe these are just simply a little bit too weak. Um, you can always come over here, double click them and you come over here and let's say that it needs to be two feet uh, deep instead of the one foot deep. And it's gonna have, need to be shifted down once again. Uh, so you know, your section is gonna be kind of handy again. So um, what you wanna do is you wanna look for that midpoint of it and then move it from where it's overlapping down. Okay, back to new 3D. So that looks pretty good, right? Now the spacing might be too tight. I don't know, you might have to actually get a little more aggressive on your spacing because of the way it looks. Um, that's kind of easy to, you know, just uh, select your system again and then uh, come back into your type information. So I went three by three, so maybe five by five might work a little bit better for our design and rename it, you know, five by five. 
and then I'll say okay and then take a look at the spacing and now it's going to go through and do some deletions and things like that and so yeah it looks pretty good I like that so um, there you go um, once you're done with that you know you can go ahead and bring everything back now um, it's not cleaning up really nicely against these edges right here so um, if it does not um, you could unpen them and uh, let me see how, how could we deal with this um, deal with this Maybe get ourselves into a section box here and peel this back a bit just to take a look since the outline of the border was sitting to the outside face that's probably where I made my mistake so those spaces probably wanted to be the inside instead of the outside and that would have been better when I was creating my uh, from my mask. So keep that in mind, guys, when you're making it. Don't go to the outside of your wall. Go to the inside of your wall so that way these guys will stop on the inside. You don't have to do any kind of cutting to try to, you know, manipulate that. Okay. Um, if you want to kind of see what this looks like inside, you could go to your floor plan uh, where it is. Hit your drop down for your camera. And then just simply hit two clicks here and to the room. And you can kind of see what's going on. Play with the graphic display a little bit, put in some shadows and ambience and things, and maybe turn the this to 10 and the other one 15. These are sort of my go-tos. There you go. All right, if you want to take a look at something a little bit wider or whatnot, you can kind of play with that until you like what you're seeing. All right, there you go. Hope this helps, guys. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions.